rehashing that point because they won't see that on the channel. Oh, but, really? Oh, oh. Would, wait, would me would vegans consider if someone asked the vegan, look, here is here is the act of drinking in the world we live in now, drinking one cup of milk a week. Now, is is it motivating? Would vegans feel motivated to care about that? Yeah, I think generally speaking, they will. Yeah, I agree. And the reason they would feel motivated, presumably, is because of the demand that drinking one cup of milk per week will cause for the animal agriculture industry, for the dairy industry. Right, that, and I think that, um, if we sort of skip forward to, we can grant you that the generated demand is the same or higher in the organic case. Um, it's it's not just the same or higher. It's 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 the same. It's 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 twice as much or greater in the organic case. Not the same or higher. Twice as much or greater in the organic. Yeah, case. I was just I was just giving like the sufficient criteria. criteria. We're just saying it's being met. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to I'm happy to point out that it it is even like. And it's it's probably higher higher. it's probably more than that. It's it's because it's twice as much or higher if we assume like every steel man possible for organic. If we assume that everything is going to be like corn-based organic compared to corn-based conventional, if we assume that everything is going to be the old numbers instead of the updated numbers with even greater mm -hmm. discrepancy between manure usage for uh, or organic and conventional as manure use, and if we assume that the we assume lower end costs of manure prices, if we like have mm -hmm. all those caked in assumptions, we get twice as much demand uh, for organic. Uh, for an organic diet or or more demand. And so reality is, even if only 10%, I, I would suspect even if only 10% of your diet is organic as opposed to conventional, you probably would be on par, in the same ballpark at least, with right, the right. Yeah, demand yeah. of consuming one cup of milk per week. Because that's going to be the sort of immediate response. Is that no one consumes an entirely organic diet or at right, least... That's if, why I'm if, doing oh, it this way. Yeah, or at least that like the average person probably doesn't even consume that much more organic. It might be it might closer be to ten percent or even fewer. But I think, yeah, if, I think if that's the case, um, then they need to be consistent. They need to say that either organic is something that they should be motivated for, or to say that. And there were some people in chat know whether they were memeing or not, saying that okay, well, I guess that this just implies that now that I shouldn't really care about someone who drinks like a cup of dairy. Yeah. Dairy. Yeah, so that would that's the case that I will try that I am confident that like the case that I am confident I can make was with the numbers is just that if you want to say that you're not concerned if someone has if ten percent, if you're not really if you would be okay, you're not that really that motivated about caring if someone has ten percent of their diet being organic, then if someone drinks a cup of milk per week, every week they just say, I'm gonna take I'm gonna drink a cup of milk then you either you shouldn't care about that you should mm -hmm. contradict yourself mm -hmm. or you should care about both that's right um and so i guess there's two ways for you to proceed one of them is that i don't know if you have the numbers on hand we can go over them if you do otherwise I yeah wouldn't. sure I sure i mean i can i i have um i have the ones i don't i would have to get the ones without the steel men also but i can go about we can go with the ones like for example i just looked up how much i could buy a gallon of milk for um, now there's different numbers, but the first one that comes up on gallon of milk cost for shopping is Friendly Farms Vitamin D milk, which is two dollars and sixty five cents per one gallon of milk. Yeah. Okay, so there's sixteen cups in a gallon. Two point six five divided by sixteen, and then we divide that by seven because mm -hmm. we're doing that once a week. It's to estimate the daily demand, so we'll just divide by seven, and then we get. Uh, that's two cents, two, uh, 2.3 cents. That's the daily demand from drinking a cup of milk a week. And then when I went through my, the old numbers, I think you still have the old numbers for the uh, different difference between organic and conventional. It came out to be like five cents. Here, here I got them one second for you. Uh, all right. There you go. Yeah, so one, one divided, what is it, one divided by 18.6? 18.6. 18. 
yeah, assuming you only live in the corner, you boil down to dollar animal agriculture, one dollar of animal agriculture per 18.6 days. So one divided by 18.6. Yeah, so that's 0 0.537. Point oh uh, five three seven zero point zero five three seven is what it is. So yeah. even yeah. if you were to take the one cup of meat demand and multiply it by two, you would only get zero point zero four seven. Um, so you still even if it's it's more even if only fifty percent of your diet was organic, you would still. You would still it's not you still be less. It would still it would still be more. It would still be more economic demand than a cup of milk per week. Uh, and that's assuming every steel man. Like assuming we use the lower ranges of the newer costs, assuming we use only corn, assuming we assuming we're using these old numbers. It's just yeah, I mean I, I, we could now I can hash out the data again, not using all these ridiculous steel men, and we can see just how low it gets. <laughs> but I think it's very conceivable and likely that we would get to even a low if even if a very low percentage of your diet is organic, you would still be on the same level of demand of consuming one cup of milk per week. And so all I would say at that point is either, well, what I can certainly say for sure at this point is if half of someone's diet is organic, you yeah. would either, you would either be motivated to be concerned about that, motivated to be concerned about milk or not motivated for either or contradict yourself mm -hmm. or, but I think, but that's at minimum, I, even if it's lower, I, I, I'm pretty confident that I can get that if we took out the ridiculous steel men, that we, even if we have very low levels, um, it would clearly be in the ballpark. I mean, look, if someone would be, if someone would drink a cup of milk every other week, I mean, if someone, if they would, should be concerned if 25% with all these steel men are, is organic. So yeah, okay. So, okay, so so at like a ten percent rate, we're talking about basically a cup of milk per month, give or take. With or take. with with all of the steel man, with like with yeah 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 with with twelve point five percent yeah twelve point five percent that would, yeah so that would be twelve point five percent organic rate with every single steel man. If someone if someone is motivated to care about someone saying you know what every beginning the first day of every month I'm going to drink a cup of milk yeah. yeah. If a vegan would be motivated by that with every single steel man, if 12.5% of someone's diet is, really, it's going to be lower than that. Really, it's probably like 5 or 3% or something. But, yeah, I mean, so if they would be, if they would care if someone drinks a cup of milk on the first day of every month, they should either be motivated to care about someone having that percentage of their diet being organic or not care about either. Sure, sure. Or to contradict yourself. Okay, good. I go. All right, so we agree. Yeah, we agree on that. I think that at that point then, um, well, one, I think that it's worth us going through the data at some point when I'm more available. And I mean, I want to do that for myself anyways. I'm pretty confident that these numbers are correct, but I think that there's some updated stuff that we want to go through. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, I definitely want to go through updated stuff because that would make it even even more embarrassing. That's, that, that's right. That's right. That's part of why I'm motivated to do that, too. I want to give this like the strongest case possible. Because one thing I was mentioning is that I think um, the arguments against this have been pretty bad so far. Like, I would grant that unilaterally. Like, there's, there's, there's not, not really, really much against this. Now, um, now that we're at this point sort of, though, where what we're talking about is someone being motivated against a single glass of milk a month. I think that there's going to be very many cases where people will just be okay with that. What about um, a week? Um, even in the case of a week, I think that, so what we have to do too is recognize whether or not we're talking pragmatically or if we're talking upon like something more close to like a normative ethical theory. No, no, like we're not talking. talking no, no, let's, that's, well, now we're completely changing the subject. No, look, the question is, is, do you think people are going to be saying, look, here's someone who's drinking a glass of milk a week. Here's the vegan. This is the vegan community. I'm showing the vegan community. Hey, I, I go out and tell the vegan community, guess what? Vegan community. I'm drinking a glass of milk per week. Yeah. yeah. Are, do you see that? Does the vegan community see that as a problem? 
you'd be like, oh my God, this is something that you really shouldn't be doing. I think that, um, like in the glass of milk per week case, I think the vast majority of people are going to sign off yeah. on that being bad. Yeah. Great. So then in, yeah. And if it was, so all I, then in the vast majority of cases, what, what they should say is if a, if a, if a low percentage, what I would say is if a low percentage of someone's diet is organic, they should care about that. She'd be like, Hey, what are you doing? They should care about that or they should contradict themselves or care about mm-hmm. either. Now, the cases where I think it obviously gets a little bit, um, well, we have like more reason to be skeptical at least. I like in these cases where people are buying like just organic tofu or if they're eating organic when they're at a restaurant. Um, I'm not sure that most people would be convinced by those kinds of numbers. Well, it just depends on what that com- comes out to be as a percentage yeah. of your diet. Again, it, it comes out to be like, that's all I can say is what percentage of your diet someone should either so it should care about. And if I can get that to a pretty low percentage, then yeah, it, it would be pretty motivating for yeah. people to generally yeah. just avoid organic. Yeah. I think um, it should be under their view if they want to hold consistent. I think though that, so what we've seen, for example, in the server, is even when you show people some of the very bare numbers, um, there are people in this server, for example, who are actually just okay with a thousand dollars over a lifetime to animal agriculture. And so I'm interested oh, to see that. That's, by the way, that's by the way, that's by the way, that's that's a thousand dollars with every ridiculous steel man possible. That's right. That's, that's right. like that's the that's lowest. Right. Like that, that's not like an average estimate. That's like the lowest possible estimate for the difference between the two. That's right. But I mean, that also assumes a lifetime of being um, on organic. Like, right, right. So, so. And look, and, and, we, and, and we can say, which is fine, because we could just take a percentage of that and say, well, if you only did half of your life on organic, we could just take, take it by the same percentage. Or if you right. only did right. half, we could just take it. That, that's fine. I'm just setting the standard at that so we can just divide it by whatever, or we can multiply it by whatever percentage mm-hmm. that you want to get it down to. But the point yeah, is, whatever so you get it down to, will be a ridiculous, will be the lowest estimate. That's right. I think that what's interesting, though, is from what I've seen in the server and on YouTube and whatnot is, and I mean, of course, we made it earlier that this is anecdotal and there's obviously like contrary anecdotes. Um, There's like a very large amount of vegans who seem to think that this is just okay at those levels. Now, the question remains then why would someone like be more motivated against the milk case? And there might be aesthetic reasons there. You know, it might be that they could appeal to like aesthetic normalization of consuming milk, um, it being more direct, whatever. Those motivational reasons might just be irreducible or like inaccessible to us. Um, All right. Well, then they have to, (laughs) I mean, yeah. but but when this is pointed out, like they would have to, yeah, I mean, look, what's the reason? What the reason, if you say, if you want to say like your reason for being concerned about not the milk per- oh isaac we're talking about motivation because he, we don't we're not debating whether some, whether it's ethical or not like we both agree that yeah just unethical. just so just so everyone in the vc is clear and for the youtube listeners um like organic is carnist the, the remaining yeah. questions is to what degree um is it carnist and to what degree is it worth caring about because uh, i take those to be important questions to ask and yeah. Yeah. The sort of thing that I'm pointing out is that if we're very unmotivated to be caring about organic, then there is a sense in which it might push away vegans sufficiently that it becomes problematic, or that at least it would be so difficult to convince people that our time could have been better spent otherwise. Um, and I would just say the same thing for if I decided to drink a glass, uh, yeah, a cup of milk um, every week. Yeah, I think and- that. I actually lean in favor of the intuition that if a very large amount of vegans just were drinking a glass of milk per week, that my time would be better spent on convincing people to be vegetarians or vegan rather than on that. Um, I, I'm not sure. Oh, well, <laughs> whether our time, that's an empirical question. I don't know the answer to that. Right. Um, I don't know. What I, I, don't would, know what I would I'm say. Just, I'm just yeah. about but, what's but what I would, but, 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 yeah, but what I but what I would say is that I would view it as something where that I would have a huge problem with. If someone told me like, okay, I'm going to drink a glass of milk every week, I'm going to say, like, what's wrong with you? I'm gonna I'm gonna 
Like I would have a big problem with that. Um, I would have a huge problem doing that. It would be very motivating for me not to do it. Uh, right, if I was right. to consider myself an ethical vegan. And I just don't understand if that's the case, what would, why would it not be, should it not also be motivating for me to avoid organic, even if we're talking about a, a sm uh, small percentage of, of my diet being organic? So there's a few things that someone is going to be able to point to. Um, one of them is the relatively small amount of suffering that if we did convince everyone to be fully conventional, that we would save, for example. Well, no, that's not a symmetry breaker between the two. Um, We've equated no, the demand. No. That's not going to work. No, I think I think that it's more. We're talking about just organic as is. is. Um, no, I think, that, I, think, I, 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 I agree. I agree that um, generally speaking, like people should just be consistent between the milk case and the organic case. Great, that's because that's all I can really make the case. Here. Like, I'm not going to say. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. I'm not going to say. Like, I'm, I'm not going to try to like establish that there's some truth out there that like what's the level where people should be motivated. And all I'm saying is that look, if you want to be motivated at this level, then a fortiori. A fortiori, they you should be motivated at the organic level. That's right, um, and I don't think there's any contention there. I think that, I think that what what uh, we run the risk of, and again, we saw that in the server today, is just people saying, "Look, all this gets me to is that now I'm okay with people drinking milk." Well, at least that look, at least that would be a logically consistent position. Right. At right. least, then, yeah. At least, at least that's at least they're not dialectists anymore. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and then from there, I mean, we can appeal to reasons why that is their conclusion. So, for example, the fact that um, yeah, I mean, if someone if someone wants to say that, culture. yeah, if someone wants to see, that's a hilariously bad. Okay, well, that's hilariously dumb. Like just because yeah, I understand <laughs> yeah, that's that's really really bad. Like I understand really, that, like, uh, a small um... a small Holocaust is is okay i shouldn't really be concerned about a small hol holocaust because it's just a small percentage of a larger holocaust like no i i care about that i definitely care about the small holocaust too and if i, I had that, easy I that... the point the point is there's an easy look it's not hard to avoid organic it's very easy it, you pay you end up spending less money also on average like right. the point I mean, is all those, that all, all, those, all those factors are true. I think that the point just is is that um, so if we run, for example, the steel man that's offered here. Now, of course, this will work better in your favor if we use actual numbers. But if we look at the lifetime accumulation of impact on animal agriculture, the subsidization accounts for five thousandths of a percentage point of the total gross income of animal agriculture over that same period. And for some people, that's just going to be so sufficiently small that they can admit that that's a problem. They can admit that it's a small Holocaust and then just say there are other things that are more worth caring about. Even well, though that's not still, a wait, still, when you say worth caring about, it's like all I'm saying is that is this is not like a zero sum game. Like the question is should you care about making this decision? Like it's not a hard decision for you to do. It's currently something you're currently doing. You could easily not do it, and then it's not going to take. It's not going to be this opportunity cost for you, if in terms of your decision, what you're, how you're going to live your life, how you're going to act. You, you're not engaging in this opportunity cost. If anything, it would be the opposite. You have more opportunity by engaging in conventional consumption rather than organic consumption. You have more money. I don't. I don't see any where the opportunity cost is coming from. Like I, I would actually make the countervailing argument that you actually have more opportunity <laughs> to to do things by consuming a conventional diet than an organic diet. No, because I actually agree with you there. I think that um, like this is one thing I wanted to point out to EC and, and Luke and Blake is that they're just very wrong about the cost of things, the environmental impact, and also the health impact. I think all of those things go in favor of conventional, hilariously enough. Um, I think that you could modulo the ethical case and still point out that conventional is something that you should be pushing for. All that said, um, the sort of thing that Insup was talking to you about this morning. So if you look at the very okay, recent... I haven't seen that data. That that's data I'll need to take a look at. I and by the way, it was very unconvincing. It seemed like ridiculous hand waving. 
But I'll, I'll take a look. Yeah, I'll take a look at. And it didn't seem like there was a, even a directness of measurement of what we were looking for. It seemed like there was recidivity rates of like on vegans. Well, why were they vegan? Were they ethical for? Were they vegans for ethical reasons? They look at the recidivism rate for that. Did they look at the? Mm-hmm. Were they just doing it for health reasons? Like if they're because like if we're talking about vegans who are being vegan for health reasons or environmental reasons, and there's a high rate of recidivism. Like I don't care. Like they, of course they're not going to understand. They're not going. They're not going to understand the organic issue if they're not caring about ethics at all. Unless they're only, if, unless they're only going organic for health reasons, or I mean, sorry, unless they're only going conventional for health reasons, or unless they're only avoiding organic for environmental reasons. But, yeah, so yeah, I think, so. I think that the um, the only remaining possible argument in favor here is just that, and and this is something that I'm taking intuitively on the basis that I've seen this sort of be the standard response from a lot of people. Just is that um, it becomes like a form of gatekeeping that makes it off-putting. So it's not an opportunity cost for the individual. I think that you should be conventional um, for egotistical reasons. Yeah. But it's not, though. Like, it's not a gatekeeping. That's not how we've been operating. We don't classify people who eat organic as vegan when they become, as carnists when they become vegan. That's we right. only classify right. people who, yeah, it's not, a gate, it's not a gatekeeper to the vegan community at all. That's not how we're operating. I think that's only, think that, yeah, yeah, it's the, only once they, yeah, they, someone gets to a high level of understanding the issue and a high level of understanding the ethics and really, and they just are being a motivated reasoner at that point and they're just going crazy. Right, um, right, right, right. Then, yeah. No, I think that the, um, the view that sort of is being put forward, I think by, and I, I don't want to straw man her here so maybe i shouldn't even say it but i think the view from some people in like the youtube community you probably know who i'd be referring to by it's just that their view is more that that will be how most people start taking this that they will start using it in like a gatekeeping sense if they start using this argument like most people aren't going to that's just yeah i mean that's just number one that's just speculation number two the only available evidence for how people are contradicts that speculation because we actually have evidence for how people actually are and that contradicts the speculation well, so i think, I think the, the problem is is under that person's view the evidence doesn't lean in that direction i think that, I think that they don't have is, evidence is... well but, but the only no but the thing is there's only they, there's only the only available evidence is, is an anecdote and the anecdote goes against that her direction like the I, only available evidence I, for a community that class that that has this this is the only community that has this classification this Discord is the only vegan community that has this uh, that has this classification. It really, right, I mean, we, we don't have data on the organic case. I think that what we would use is we would just try to speculate analogously from other communities like this, and then we'd also speculate just from the general vegan case. Where yeah, you can't do that they, because then they, <laughs> they no, because if they thought of, they, if they if they also had that, then they would they, they would also probably have other characteristics that would be similar. And, look, and I could speculate in the opposite direction too. It would just be hard speculation. Look, it would be hard speculation. I could speculate in the opposite direction that people would be, be even more inclusive because it may, maybe for who knows how many reasons. People may even be more inclusive because it allows them to be to get to veganism in a stepwise manner. People may be more inclusive because it allows them to be more intellectually consistent. And, be, and the, people may be more conclu- in, inclusive because it allows them to think more scientifically instead of just being some naturalist. Like I, I have no idea. Like it, there's a million and a half different things I could speculate in the other way. It's just all speculation. And look, the, the the point is in the only actual evidence available for an actual community that operates this way, it contradicts the way it, it just contradicts the proposition. Um, so there's there's no real case to make there. I'm not I'm not actually convinced that it is the opposite. I think that I would lean closest to being like agnostic on this topic, with like leaning towards um, it being more likely to push people away, just from like the anecdotal. Cases that I've experienced. That said, like I, I'm, I'm happy to just be agnostic on it. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no real case. I mean, look, I pushing pushing people away from being vegan versus uh, being people more likely to be vegan. I have no. I, I I mean, I think any position other than agnosticism would be crazy. Right, I agree right, with I that agree generally. With that yeah, generally. yeah. So there's really no. Yeah. So all I'm so, so yeah again. So we we agree, and I just don't see. Look. I'll, I'll just leave it at this. If if organic is if organic is not carnist, then drinking a cup of milk per week should be vegan. If organic is not carnist, uh, if organic is not sufficiently motivating, if there aren't sufficiently motivating reasons to to care for oneself to not consume organic, then there should also not be sufficiently motivating reasons for oneself to care about 
consuming one glass, one cup of milk per week. Yeah, I think yeah, that's, I think that's fine. And I think the, um, even just sort of intuitively in my own mind, I think that there are many cases where I think I would be okay with, with someone saying they drink like a glass of milk per week. I just wouldn't put my, like, a, cu- a cup of milk. That. Yeah. A cup of, not, not put, no, 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 but I'm, I don't know. I'm not saying for someone else. I'm saying for yourself. Yeah, I'm saying for yourself, like if you, if you yourself should have, would care to enough to not buy the milk, not buy a a cup of milk per week. If you feel that there are reasons for you not to do that, then you should also feel there are reasons for you not to have a low percentage of your diet be organic. Yeah, no, that follows. Um, Yeah, no, I have, I have no problem with that. The, the usual view I just see from people here again is just that um, there's going to be a very like great amount of people who just don't care about this at this level. I don't think there's like any escaping that. Now, as you said, I think that we were sort of hashing this out earlier in chat that um, we're just each getting into like our subjective views on when a contribution to a Holocaust becomes problematic. So for example, we both agree that like a one cent contribution to a Holocaust doesn't really matter matter. that's why i'm just going back that's why i'm just going back to the milk kids because all i'm gonna say is like look i need some kind of standard by which i'm setting a standard by which i think just about every vegan would really care like i really i think to almost every vegan would really care like if someone if anyone came out and said like hey by the way i'm drinking a glass of milk every week they almost every vegan would care and almost every vegan would be like wow that's really messed up no i think i think at the week level if that cashes out um and I think that it's it's likely to for quite a few different kinds of organic diets. Then, um, then ultimately, yeah, like that. Either the people should bite the bullet on that or or switch to the pro organic case. the The problem is, is just again, um, once we start getting more and more to the margins, the view isn't going to be particularly motivating against people. For example, when they're just like at a restaurant or just eating socially. Um, I think that uh, it depends on what that hash it. Well, again, we've been through this. So it depends yeah, on what that yeah. hashes out with the percentage. Yeah, and I, if I guess, it does yeah, have, I, if I, that I, does hash out to a percentage that it would be, then you would have to be the, you'd be in the same problem. Yeah, and I think yeah, I think that uh, like all things considered, if what we discovered was someone is a vegan and they were consuming a single glass of milk per month, like if that's what it came out to approximately, I think there's a very large amount of people who just they um, they might be grossed out by that, but they're generally likely to say something like, I still consider that person like not worthy of a lot of time spent on this topic. Like I'm not going to put a lot of time and effort into convincing that person otherwise, especially um, I think one of the annoying things about this topic. Well, no, is, not, now we're changing. That, now we're changing things. Hold on. Not, not spending a lot of time. I, I, now, see that we're, we've shifted things a little bit, not spending a lot of time on it, but saying, Hey, wait a minute. This is let's. This is kind of fucked up of you. Like you know, this is kind of messed up. What, what are yeah. you doing? No, I, I agree. If that's all you're doing, then that cashes out. I think that the problem with the organic case, just on a pragmatic level, is generally what I've seen is like sufficient pushback or sufficient misunderstanding. And maybe that's just due to the fact that it's a new view. Um, and between you and I, I forget the other author. Maybe you should just mention it. Um, do you know the person I'm talking about that runs like a similar view to this? Yeah. Hold on. Because I think that's worth having so other people can go read that person too. But I think that my point is that um, since you guys are sort of um, the trendsetters for this, that maybe that explains part of why there's so much resistance to this. But what I've seen is sufficient resistance. Will, that, Will Bonsall. Will, Will Bonsall. That's it. He's, yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. He, that's him. He's the author who, who made a... He wrote a book about gardening without animal products. Um, right. Because on his right. view, yeah, he, in his view, he independently came to the conclusion that organic is harmful. That's right. Um, I think that, I mean, it might just be in virtue of like YouTube being the only people that I know of that are talking about this, um, that there's so much resistance to it. Maybe it's just in virtue of people like having like motivations against you in specific. Um, uh, which everyone I don't really out. know why. By the way, for that, Will, for that Will person, everyone should just go check out Avi Server. There's a link to that stuff in there. And Avi Server is great anyways. Um, but I think, yeah, I think that like in, in virtue of it being um, like so difficult to convince people of this topic, and again, the fact that just 
anecdotally, I've seen so many people sort of come to the conclusion that even I'm at sort of now where if I discovered that a friend was eating like an organic dish at a restaurant once a month, I, I think that like, so right now I avoid organic. Um, I consumed organic tofu up until recently just because there was no other option for tofu. Um, and it got to that point where I just didn't really care enough. Um, I think that if I were to discover someone like that, I would do sort of what you suggested, which is just to say, well, that's fucked up. Maybe you should consider something else. But I'm not going to um, like spend a significant amount of time convincing that person that organic is carnist when instead I could be spending that effort on you know any other sort. Okay, well that's yeah. I mean that's that's fine. But that, that, but, that, yeah. that's so sort of the, that, the that's point, where the pragmatic case ends up. And I think yeah, that, but that's um, but just to the point where you agree. Yeah, like whatever your reaction is for someone consuming uh, a cup of milk per week, whatever your reaction is for that to whatever uh, criticism you would bring to your friend who does that. Uh, yeah, I think you should bring that same criticism to your friends if they're consuming uh, a mostly conventional but partially organic diet. Yeah. No, I think that, um, yeah, the, the view is just sort of, where I end up I on this, is just sort of, um, is that I think that once the data is sort of out there, um, I haven't really seen like a reason to um, engage in this topic that much just because it's sufficiently difficult to convince people and what results from it is not like a significant change in the amount of harm that's been done. I, I, so I don't know. So from, from, like an EA, from like an EA perspective, um, they'd use like measurements of like tractability and impact. And, I think and, you're underestimating, I think you're underestimating where the benefits come from. I think, I don't think it's just, I don't think this is getting, um, realizing this issue is just coming from the benefits of not engaging in organic. I think it's, I think there are externalities, benefits that are externalities of coming to just have a better, having a better understanding of veganism and, what, and logical consistency. Yeah, I, agree, I actually agree with that. I think that that's fine. Um, but I don't think that those are exclusive to this discussion. It's, it's not, but first there is, but there, in some way it is. There's something about organic that exclusively makes otherwise intelligent people and otherwise intellectually honest people say really dumb things in very dishonest ways. <laughs> and, uh, it's true. You know, I, I, you know, I, I, would, I would be interested. I think one thing is, um, unfortunately, like our data on that is limited to this community, community where yes. I think that there, well, there are a lot of people who are motivated against you as a person rather than this topic as a concept. I want to be interested in seeing, and I mean, maybe this would help motivate me against this view is to see how this like further expands out. Now, one thing that I can point to as evidence for the fact that it might continue to do that is um, like the response that BWP got to her video, for example. Um, um, it yeah. seems like that was like negatively re uh, reviewed. And now maybe, no, maybe that's in that, virtue yeah. of the video not properly explaining the view. I don't think that it didn't. I think that it was a good video. Maybe it had some weaknesses that I'm just unaware of. Um, but uh, I think... <laughs> Funnily enough, I think that a lot of the motivated reasoning is just in virtue of like it being a view that is coming from you. And I'd be interested yeah, in seeing like, see. um, for example, I was uh, I was patiently awaiting like seeing some kind of video like this from like Vegan Gains or from like Isaac or something just to see what kind of response that would get. Now, if I, if I see like more people being easy to convince about this um, and I don't see people um, having the sort of response that I'm worried about due to some of the literature I've seen, um, which is just that it would push people away from veganism or um, have them have the view that like veganism is like a much harder diet to um, be in line with, then I'm absolutely like willing to shift um, like my, my stance on this and be much more motivated against it. Um, because again, like organic is carnist on a conceptual and like empirical basis. So like, that's just an inescapable conclusion. And uh, really it just comes down to like these pragmatic objections. Yeah, which they themselves seem very, very shaky. Anyway, um, sure. So yeah, I think, I think we're pretty much in agreement here. Um, but yeah, all I would say is that, yeah, I mean, I think based on everything we've seen, whether I'm making the videos or whether Banana Warrior Princess is making the videos or whether uh, vegan, actually whether vegan games, um, because he actually did say some things on a, a live stream. 
Now, now I think actually I could move on my position for that. I think that there is like once everything sort of um, worked out with what you're doing right now. And one reason I haven't brought this stuff up because I take it to be that what you're doing right now is more important than this. Um, I would I would say that there is sufficient pragmatic reason to convince vegan gains to engage in this topic. So like that would be like an instance where I think that you have like a sufficient um, like standing with that person where they're not going to be motivated against you. They're much more likely to accept, accept the, view. the view. Well, no, he, and, may, he, or, he does accept the view. Like he, he has accepted the view. Um, I, think, he... I think to the point where he's like willing to like release content about it. Because oh, as, as far as I'm mean. aware, there's as far as I'm aware, there's like one comment he makes in one live stream that very few people have seen. Um, yeah. But when people point is when people have seen it, they've had this reaction. Like when people <laughs> have seen it, they've uh, when now um, I don't want to say otherwise intelligent people because the person that I saw making a reaction to that, I don't consider him to be an otherwise intelligent person. That's right. Um, That's right. But I do think that otherwise intelligent people. That's just an intuition I have. Yeah. I mean, because based on everything I've experienced, yeah, it's going to be anecdote. But yeah, based on, I don't know what it is, but I think a lot of people share this. I think a lot of, I think, I definitely know Isaac shares this view. Like, otherwise, it, it has, there's something weirdly unique about <laughs> organic that takes otherwise intelligent vegans and otherwise intellectually honest vegans and makes them say really dumb, dishonest things. And, yeah, yeah. Isaac and I, I talked about this very briefly last night. Because um, I think. One thing, too, that I'd mention is the, um, the reason LCD and everything even came up. And so when I talked to Isaac last night, I pointed out that my view is modulo those things. Um, the discussion that those came up in was that I was pointing out that instead of taking my view on authority or taking your view on authority, like these are the kinds of things that you have to bifurcate against. And I think that the only reasonable um, like symmetry breaker uh, case is possibly in the pragmatic space. Um, I think that the, like, the, um, like, spiral view or whatever, um, or the a priori views, all of those are going to be problematic at some level, as we've, like, sort of demonstrated in this debate. And that all that really remains for the anti-organic crowd is just, like, this psychological pragmatic. And I think that, for me, I have just the opposite intuition to you, um, and that we're both sort of happy just to be agnostic on that. Um, for me, like I'm just gonna continue spending my time on other topics, and except for in the case I I do want to debate Logan Blake and I do want to debate Ethy on this. Well, but, but, but here's the thing. Hold on, Bryn, Bryn, one second. Like, Bryn, I've the overwhelming majority of time that I spend on vegan topics is not organic. No, I agree. The overwhelming, no, agree. Yeah, 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 like yeah, the over. Yeah, yeah. We're not. It's not even a symmetry breaker for that either. Like the overwhelming majority no. of my time is about content that really does matter. Yeah. It's only when people start. Look, when I came when I came back, the first, the only reason I debated organic is because that's what was set up. That's what people wanted to challenge me on. As soon as I came back, I did it. I it was and and the only reason I'm doing it now is because people are starting to challenge it now. Other yeah, than yeah. other than that, I've been making content about very hard hitting topics that almost everyone is interested in, and that would make a great impact. Right, and again, that's, I mean, that's, again, the reason I haven't brought it up. I think that the content that we're talking about usually is what's way more important. Um, I think that, like, if people want to hold a view similar to mine, again, like, obviously laid it out for you. Um, if your view is something like where I'm at, which is just that, um, like, if I'm out at a restaurant, I'm not really going to worry that much about eating, like, organic rice. Um, if... I like I'm at the store and there's no conventional tofu. Maybe I'll buy a block of organic tofu. I just have to bite the bullet on that being similar or like at the same level in in some sense as like me drinking like a glass of milk per month. And maybe intuitively I just don't have like a problem with that. Maybe many vegans do. You just have to bite the bullet on that. Um, but for the most part, I think that there's a very strong case here for organic, uh, avoiding organic as much as possible. And I know I'm using a vague word of obligation there, but like, you should so just that, say that, we that, should that, avoid we should avoid organic as much as practicable and possible. Yeah, in in standard vegan rhetoric, we should just avoid organic as much as practicable and possible. Um, and I think that it sounds like Avi and I agree that in 
the vast majority of cases, there are these like bigger problems that are worth solving. And that if you have someone who just like has all the evidence presented to you that Avi can present and their view is something like, okay, I'm just going to continue eating a hundred percent organic diet. Maybe that's like a cause for like telling them to like fuck off. <laughs> um, but I think that they're once Avi and I go over the numbers again, and I hope we can do that soon. I'm like relatively free this weekend. But I know that you're busy. Um, I think that like once we have like a solid set of numbers on what like the average case looks like, and we can, I think one thing we should do is stop using the steel man numbers. I think we should just come up with an actual average case. Sure. Um, I think that has like some pragmatic utility for your side. Cause I think one thing that like, just as an aside, I think Isaac and I were talking about this last night, in many cases like steel man's um, cause like <laughs> it to be like an impersuasive state. And so one thing right now is when I appeal to your steel man numbers, and I can show that if we were to spend all this time on, um, well, actually, maybe that's loaded language. If we were to spend time on convincing people of organic, um, and we convinced everyone to go conventional for the entirety of their lifespan, and I point out that, like, look, this is like five millionths of the impact uh, of animal agriculture. That's all we solve. There's going to be a lot of people who just say, okay, well, that's not very motivating or stimulating for me. That might be in virtue of the fact that it's like hyper steel man. And maybe if we go do like an average case, it's going to get to the point where it's not just motivating for me um, to definitely be against organic, but like so motivating that I would spend more time caring about organic. That might just happen. Um, okay. Just yeah, that's, 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 yeah. I mean, the, that's, yeah, that's, 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 just, that's just to like point out and be fair to you that I think that one of the reasons why this doesn't work out for me right now is I think the steel man is too much of a steel man, um, where it just gets to the point where psychologically i don't have that much of an impetus against it um and in fact i'm like leaning towards certain other individuals views which is just that maybe this is too loaded for vegans right now um but that yeah once once i think we go do the average case i think there's a very good chance um that maybe this is like significantly more problematic than what we say right now so yeah yeah i'm happy i'm happy to do that yeah we can we can just use average numbers instead of the steel man numbers um and then organic will be really will be look really really bad. But yeah, yeah. yeah so one, we, I mean, what one thing is, I think that the newer numbers have gotten significantly worse than since the steel man. And, um, yeah, I don't yeah. know where you, I don't know where you got those numbers for them, but just so everyone in the chat is aware, um, I expect the numbers that Avi was using to go up somewhere between like ten and fifty fold once we actually go and hash this out. Um, because the numbers that we were using, so those numbers come from when I was first in the server back in October of 2018. In the year and change since then, there's been a significant amount more uh, uh, farmers who are using manure, and the prices of manure have gone up quite a bit. And so just looking at like the numbers on like fucking AliExpress and like other like bulk purchasing sites, I couldn't get anything close to the numbers that Avi was using. And I'm pretty sure that once Avi and I go do like a more thorough exposition of where we're at now, that the original steel man is just going to be so extremely charitable to the organic position that there's going to be this huge problem. But I'm going to leave that aside until we actually go do it. Maybe it doesn't end up that way. And maybe we can create like better average cases that, that leave some people being able to consume organic or not. All right. Yep. We'll do it. But yeah, I think I think it sounds like we agree on like 95% of the issue. We just have like adverse intuitions about some of the pragmatics. Um, and then we both understand that we should go do like some of the more rigorous math soon. And then also everyone should go bug Ethy and Logan Blake about not debating either of us. Yes, please. Um, I'm happy to respond to everything Logan has said in his ridiculous... And certain other individuals who I don't know what their position is, but I know that they're chirping at you right now. You can say their names if you want. I don't know what their positions are, so I can't say whether or not it works or not. I just know that uh, Logan Blake and Ethy have, as far as I can tell, misconstrued what Avi is saying. Yeah, and again, just I'm happy to respond to every point Logan has said in his ridiculous video uh, once he steps into the server. for. Oh, and maybe for the purposes of the recording, um, 
do you want to re-offer your stipulation? Just because I know some people are going to listen to this and want to come challenge you. What's your uh, stipulation again for the heuristic? What's your, What's your uh, oh yeah the post, post for post defeating it? Yeah, just just so you can reset it just for the purposes of recording, yeah, sure, and, then sure. we'll, and then we'll finish this off. Yeah, generate a uh, reasonably healthy, biologically possible uh, organic diet that contributes less economic demand for animal agriculture than a reasonably healthy, uh, biologically possible diet that's conventional. Cool. Sweet. Thanks for the chat.